I want to talk to you about your Lakers, first of all. My Lakers, my Lakers, man. I want to hear I understand, it. you know, they had a little difficulty. We did. Year. You know, I love LeBron. Of course. Um, and I, I tell you, uh, it's not just the Lakers, but right. Los Angeles, period. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, and one thing about Los Angeles, they think they're supposed to win every year. Right. And so give me your feedback on on the Clippers and the Lakers and why you think they did not have their success. Because I know a lot of people right. follow you with basketball as well, you know. Right. Um, you know, when people hear this, people would expect me, you know, to be furious at the Lakers and the Clippers. Well, you thought wrong because I won't. You know, the Lakers, you know, if we really think about it, let's start with the Clippers, actually. They didn't have a full roster this year. Kawhi Leonard was out for the whole season. Mm -hmm. They didn't have Kawhi. Poor George missed half of the season. He literally just came back and returned. How can you expect so much from a guy who missed out half of the season? He didn't have time to really, you know, have a chemistry with his team and actually get to learn how they play. And, you know, so it wasn't really every, – everybody wasn't on the court this whole season. Right. So I'm not really too mad at the, at the Clippers. And they actually did try to compete, you know, you know, in the playing game. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even mad at them. You know, they actually gave some type of life and showed some type of, you know, fighting spirit. But they're still the Clippers. But they're still the Clippers, you know. They always get clipped. <laughs> Coach. The, the, I can say what I want. The don't Clippers worry about fans, it. they're going to come after you. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, okay. At my age, I don't have a problem. You, you chill. You do okay. your thing. All right. Me, you know, I don't okay. <laughs> care. So. And, and the Lakers, right. the Lakers, man, everybody thinks I'm going to come in after them. I won't do that. Because guess what? The Lakers, we have an old team. Let's be honest. We have a really old team. And all those guys didn't manage to stay healthy this year. You know, it's not their fault that, you know, they just decided not to stay healthy. You know, injuries come around, you know. LeBron was in the race for MVP. He got injured. But the amount of numbers he put up every night, I'm not going to get mad at LeBron. LeBron did his thing this year. Anthony Davis was, got injured this year. We couldn't have him as much. Um, Russell Westbrook, everybody, ex and that's actually my favorite point guard. So if you guys get mad at me, I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm a loyal Westbrook fan. So, you know, it's just... Russell didn't perform as, you know, as he was supposed to on the big spotlight. You know, you in, you're playing on the Lakers. This is the big showtime. It's the Lake show. Everybody's watching. Right. And, you know, he, did, he wasn't able to produce as much as people expected. Mm -hmm. But that happens. You know, everybody's human. Everybody's not going to have the best season. And I bet you you come back with something different next year and everybody's going to forget about, you know, um, the first year with the Lakers and worry about what he's doing. And remember, he still holds the record of the most triple doubles in the NBA. So they must have some type of respect on his name. You know, he's just not one of those average type of guys. So just because of one season or how he played or, you know, he wasn't able to get the ball in the rim or make shots or create plays, it doesn't define you as a player. Well, I agree. I'm not, I'm not going to take one year. But one thing that um, I, as a coach... Uh -huh. I always take in consideration, and I'm also a relationship coach. Right. So a relationship coach requires chemistry. Okay. What type of chemistry that you put together? Exactly. So what, uh, and I think that LeBron, um, as one of the greatest players, ever, right. um, he, he knows chemistry. He Most knows definitely. how to get people around him that can go along with where he plays. Right. But when you don't have chemistry, it, it can destroy the team. And especially when people are injured on a regular basis. So right. you're really not getting a chance to have chemistry on the court. So um, the expectation had decreased as long as they continue to have injuries and so forth. Right. Everything started going down. Because, you know, those, I think they were only able to play, what, a couple of games in the beginning of the season where everybody was healthy. Yes. And from that... Yeah. From it was just you know and and think about it, I got to give props to Melo. Melo did excellent this season as well, you yeah, know. And and think about it, Carmelo and LeBron are pushing what twenty years now. Yeah, it's the twentieth yeah, season. Yeah, they pushing. 20 so years, yeah. you could you you come on. They 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 fighting. They holding on and they still giving these young guys a run and still killing. So you know, shout out to the Lakers. Shout out to the Clippers. Um, shout out to my guy Melo, LeBron, Russ Brook, all those guys. You know, I'm not mad at you guys. <laughs>